Hello my bright weasels and welcome to a Cinema 4D quick tip. Today I would like to talk about a very underrated tool hidden within Cinema 4D. And it is the lighting tool. It's I do have it as a shortcut here on my in my panels, but you will find it under create light lighting tool. I'm not sure why it's under create, but um, okay. But this tool is underrated because it just speeds up the way you set um, speculars, in, in my opinion. It, it, it does have a lot of modes, so if you click on it, there is the um, specular placement, diffuse placement, surface, trackball. Trackball is the um, default mode it is in, but all I use it for is actually sp specular placement. So if you put this on specular placement and right now my scene has no light in it. So let's create a new one. Let's push this outside a little bit. And let's say I would like this light to be a specular uh, somewhere here on Bumblebee's chest. Doing this manually is like rotating and uh, using a target object and then just scooping it over and see whenever it's, gray, it's at the right place. If you're not using anything like Arnold or V-Ray or anything else that has a live uh, IPR or anything like that, just using physical, it's a real pain in the butt. And even there, the lighting tool is stronger than all in all the other modes. Since you don't have a live preview, you always have to guess and then re-render. So let's grab the lighting tool. I have it on specular placement. Let's click our light. And then you just say wherever you want your specular be at. So let's say I want it up here. I just click. There jumps the light. I hit render. Boom, there is my specular. It's that easy and it's that fast. Let's take another one. I just copy and paste it. Click the new light. And let's say I want my specular right down there. So click. You might want to re-rotate it so it's actually facing the right direction and everything. But that's the smallest problem right here. Boom, there is my specular right there. So this is a really, really easy and fast way to get the lighting the way you want it without a lot of trial and error. But this gets even better because the lighting tool is also working in Octane and Arnold. So there's our Octane scene. There's our Octane light. There's my lighting tool, specular. And let's say, since the fist is in focus, we want, we want it right there. Boom, there is my specular. I mean, it's it's nice and easy and fast with Octane and IPRs to set lights, but this is just, just one click and it's just there. So doing, doing the lights you want it or creating a lighting the way you wanted it and hitting the right speculars is just a easy click away. Bam, there it is. Done, I call this done. Let's render this out. The only downside of this tool is that it's not working with Redshift lights, which is kind of awkward because, I mean, Redshift belongs to Maxon and Cinema 4D, so I don't know why this is not working, but maybe they add this feature in the near future. I mean, come on, one click lighting, what else you want? If you like this quick tip, hit like and subscribe, and I hope I see you next time. Stay smart.